Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to create a user account in AppRite using Flutter. In the last video, in the provider folder, I have created a file named as AppRite provider. In this file, here I will create the object of account class. Now this account class is actually extending the service class. Let me hover the mouse here. Then you can see it is extending the service class. This account class is used to manage the user account. Now in the constructor of AppRite provider, I will create the object of the account class. Account equals to account and here I need to pass the object of client. Now in this AppRite provider, here I will create a method sign up to create the user account in AppRite and it will take the object of map. Now here I will declare a variable named as response and I will use this account class object which contains a method which is called as create. This method is used to create the user account in AppRite and here we need to pass the user ID, email and password. Now from where we will get this user ID, email and password? I will create a sign up form. The user needs to provide the email, password, name in that sign up form and whenever the user will click on the register button, all the values will be received in this map and from that map, we will get the user ID, email, password, name, etc. Now here, I will use map and here I am using the user ID key. Let me copy this. Here also I will paste it, the key will be changed that is email. Let me paste it here also and the key will be changed to password. It takes one more parameter which is called as name. So name and I need to copy this, paste it here and I will change it to name. Now, if I hover the mouse here, then you can see this create method is returning future of account. Now, this future of account is not same as this account class. This future of account is actually implementing the model class. What I will do is that here, I will give the return type of this method as future of models.account. As you can see here, I have imported a package models.dart and I have given the name as models and here in the return type, I have used models.account, correct. Now, if I hover the mouse here, then you can see this account class is implementing the model class. So remember, this account and this accounts are not same. This is extending the service class and this is implementing the model class, correct. Now let me declare this as async and here I will return the response. Okay. Now what I will do is that in the repository folder I have created a file named as auth repository. In this auth repository here, first of all, I will create the object of AppRite provider. So here I am using AppRite provider and in the constructor of auth repository, here I am passing this dot AppRite provider. Now in this auth repository, I will create the sign up method. So here I am using future of models dot account. Let me give the method name as sign up. This will take map and this sign up method will actually call the sign up method which I have created inside AppRite provider. So AppRite provider dot sign up and here I need to pass this map, correct? Now let me go, uh, let me uh, go to this uh, login folder and in the login view here I have written some code to design the login user interface. If I can show you the output, then you can see this is the login screen which contains the email and password. Now in this video, I am not discussing about login. So I will not discuss this portion. 
here I have created a link new user if I click here then you can see there is a sign up form which contains email name password and there is a register button now whenever I will click on this register button then the user account should be created in app right correct let me click here now in the login view if I scroll down then you can see this is the link now this is wrapped inside gesture detector and whenever I will click here then I am calling this controller dot move to sign up this means in the login controller there is a method move to sign up and whenever this method will be called we are calling roots dot sign up now these roots I have created here in the roots folder you can see app roots there I have created this login and sign up and for these roots in the app pages I have created the views you can see that for the sign up route the sign up view will be called with sign up binding and for this login route the login view will be called with login binding okay so login I will discuss later on in this video particularly I will discuss about the sign up portion correct let me close this now let me move to sign up controller and let me move to sign up view okay now if I go to sign up view then here you can see let me show you the output once again here if I click then there is email name password and the same thing here I have created email name and password and for this name email and password I have called validate email validate name and validate password and all these validation rules I have created in sign up controller you can see that these are the text editing controllers and here I have created the methods validate email if the email is not in correct format then this message will be displayed if the password is empty then this message will be displayed similarly if the name is empty then this message will be displayed let me show you if I click here then you can see these messages are displayed now there is a register button whenever this register button will be clicked at that time this validate and sign up method is called which is taking email password and name let me go to sign up controller and here you can see this validate and sign up method is there which is taking email password and name and here in the is form valid I have stored form key dot current shape dot validate if this is form valid means if the form is valid then this else portion will execute otherwise this if portion will execute okay now in this sign up controller what I will do is that here I will create auth repository and in the constructor of the sign up controller I will pass this dot auth repository correct now I will move to sign up binding and in the sign up binding here I will use auth repository and in this auth repository I will use app write provider now let me go to sign up controller and in this sign up controller in this validate and sign up if the form is valid then in this else portion I need to write the code to create the user account in app write and to do so here I will use try catch and if something is wrong then in this catch block I will use custom snack bar dot so error snack bar in the context I will pass get dot context in the title here I will give error and in message I am giving the message as something went wrong okay now let me go to the try block now in this try block here I will use await and I will use auth repository now this auth repository contains that sign up method now here I need to pass the map object in this map object in the key I will pass user ID if you remember in the app right provider in the key I have used user ID email password and name 
the same key here I need to use user ID now this user ID should be unique to create the unique user account we will use ID which is provided by appright provider ID dot which contains a method unique it will create a unique user ID similarly name key and for this name key I will pass the name and uh, there will be a email key and here also I will pass email this means sorry it will be email actually I am passing these values which is stored correct and I need to pass password and here I will use password now dot then now here I need to write some code now till the user account is created in app right here I need to display a loader full screen loader and to do that here I will use full screen loader dot it contains a method so dialog which will display the dialog correct now if everything is all right then in this then method I need to cancel the dialog so I will use full screen dialog loader dot cancel dialog correct and here I need to display the message that the user account has been created so I will not use so error snack bar it will be so success snack bar I will change it to success and here I will give the message user account sorry user account created okay now here I will use catch error error and here I will write some code first of all here I will check if the error is upright exception if the error is of upright exception then I will copy this paste it here and in the message here I will use error dot response message in the message key the upright provides us the message that's why in the message here I have used error dot response and then the message key correct and if the error is of not upright exception then I will simply copy this paste it here and here I need to give a semicolon and uh, in the catch block also I need to cancel the dialog so I will copy this and, and I will paste it here okay now let me do a hot restart let me show you the output okay now let me click here now let me give the email as tom at the rate gmail.com in name I am giving tom and in password I am giving 1234 okay now I am clicking on this register button then see it is displaying message invalid password password must be at least eight characters so in app right whenever we are creating the account then the password should be eight character if you are not fulfilling that condition then that message will be displayed okay in catch error also we need to cancel the dialog that's why this progress bar is not going so let me copy this paste it here fine now let me do a hot restart once again let me click here now let me give the email id as tom at the rate gmail.com let me give the name as tom and in password i am giving the password as one two three four five six seven eight means eight characters okay now i'm clicking on this register now see it is displaying message user account created now let me go here now let me click on this demo project let me go to the auth part and you can see this tom user account has been created this is how we can 
create a user account in app right using flutter don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching